Welcome to this episode of SFS News. Hello BFC, good back again today, and today we have some very exciting news. We have the announcement of the Space Flight Simulator Steam version. Now, this is very awaited, and I think it's going to be very exciting when it actually does come. So today we're going to cover a few stuff which is going to be happening in this. So, without any further ado, let's hop into the video. So, first of all, we're going to just cover the changes. So, obviously we have a completely new UI and time warp buttons. We can now see how fast you are actually time warping. We also have throttle, so I presume that will be the scroll wheel. And we also have this mysterious button, which is just labelled as a question mark. <laughs> now, next on... We have smooth textures, we've obviously seen these before, and they are going to be coming in the 1.53 update. So that is all on that, nothing new there. And we have particles, now we did see a gif of particles quite a while ago, and not much has changed. So hopefully this is going to be launching in 2022, and there is also to be a Nintendo Switch version launching at the same time I found from this article online which I presume was written by Steph because it had a link to a media trailer version online which is the exact same unfortunately. We are going to go on to the new capsule texture. Now this looks very blueprint edited, I will tell you that for sure. But it is unclear if this will be brought to the mobile version or what on earth it's for. But I think it does look like a nice addition. Although I do miss the, the old. Now, re-entry looks like it will be able to break up parts. And this is the most images we have had in ages. As we can see, the re-entry doesn't look complete compared to some images. But that's unclear if it's because it's the Steam version or not. But I'll tell you what, re-entry is going to be one of a hell of an update. And we also have as well the Max Q effect. Now, we did see one version of this and that was all. And now it is back, and I think it does look pretty good. Now, also we can hide the map and thing time warp button, I believe, because as you can see here, it is not, but this is Steph. Steph has the power to do everything, so don't take that for granted. And also, it looks like we can time warp during re-entry on the Steam version. Here we can see a clip of a capsule going through the re-entry burn, and it, we are obviously going at two times speed. That, that is all we really have in this video. I'm going to try and do a in detail depth video of career mode and astronauts as well. I'll break them up into two because we have one hell of a lot of stuff so, to do. That's all for me today. I've been Esther Siegel, and I'll see you in the next one.